the binary search binary search works very well only when all the elements in an array is arranged in a proper order so let us continue with the rules of writing the binary search algorithm so let b and e denote the beginning and end of locations of the array the middle element a of m can be obtained by first finding the middle location m by m is equal to beginning plus ending divided by 2 so beginning is always 0 ending is n minus 1 if there are 5 elements then it is 5 minus 1 4 4 divided by 2 okay so what are the criteria that we need to follow so let us continue with the first criteria is if a of m that is array of mid is equal to element then search is successful otherwise new segment is found as follows so let us go for the second condition that is second criteria if element is less than array of mid then search is continued at the left half of the segment so that is onto the left half of the segment and reset ending is equal to m minus 1 because we will move from mid to left side so hence it is acting as a end end minus that is m minus 1 that is mid minus 1 now let us take the third criteria if element is greater than a of mid then search is continued on the right half of the segment by resetting b is equal to m plus 1 so that is middle point is acting as a beginning and we are moving on to the right hand side by adding 1 m is the midpoint m plus 1 okay so the fourth condition here is if element is not found then we get a condition beginning is greater than ending this results in unsuccessful search so let us take example here you can see i have taken one two three four five elements and whose index starts from zero one two three four beginning is zero ending is the last index number mid can be determined by adding the lower bound 0 that is beginning plus and the upper bound that is ending divided by 2 is equal to 2 search element let us take it as a 3 if element is equal to element is what 3 and double equal to a of mid a of mid is what 2 so a of mid is subscript is 2 so here it is matching this condition hence 3 is found at position 2 that is the first condition the next condition is beginning is equal to 0 ending is equal to 4 and we have determined mid so that is it is pointing to the second location correct search element is equal to if it is 5 now then if element is greater than a of mid so element is what 5 a of mid consisting of what 3 so here 5 is greater than 3 hence the condition is true so beginning is equal to m plus 1 means what we will move from 3 to 4 that is on to the right segment you can see here the pointer will move on to the right hand side if element is greater than a of mid so search element is what 5 so here 3 consisting of what 4 element is 5 5 is greater than a of mid now it is 4 so 5 is greater than 4 hence the condition is true beginning is equal to mid plus 1 so again it is going to move on to the right hand side here you can see it moves to the next position and now at position 4 5 is equal to 5 hence 5 is situated at a position 4 next in case of the search element is 1 if element is less than a of mid then it has to move to the left hand side okay e is equal to that is ending so this mid point is acting as an ending m minus 1 so mid minus 1 means what we are going to move on to the left hand side right so here it is not matching earlier see here you can see uh, 3 is not equal to 1 because the search element is 1 and this location mid consisting of 3 so hence it is false now we are going to move to the next location onto the left hand side here we are going to check again the location 1 consisting of 2 whether 2 is equal to 1 no it is not equal to 1 again we are going to move on to the left hand side and here you can see 
the position 0 consisting of 1. So hence 1 is equal to 1, 1 is at position 0. Write a program to search for a given element in an array using binary search method. So let us continue with hash include io stream dot h next hash include conio dot h then we'll write wide main here we'll write int a of 10 for example next i n uh, m is required and location is required and beginning ending and position is required and then element to be searched is required now let us write see out how many elements seen here we'll take n then we'll write see out enter the elements we're going to enter elements using looping structure for i is equal to 0 then i is less than n then i plus plus so here we'll use scene and we'll write here array of i okay then we're going to write see out enter the search element yes next scene we are going to use ELE. Next, position is equal to minus 1. Then we will write beginning is equal to 0 because it is lower bound. Okay, that is always starts from 0. Next, ending. So that is upper bound is equal to always it is n minus 1 because the index of the last element is n minus 1. Next, we will continue with while statement. While and here beginning is less than or equal to ending because beginning is 0, ending is n minus 1. If it is less than or equal to 0, it has to look for from the beginning to till end. Now, using binary search, it is going to search and it is going to divide the given. Uh, sequence of numbers from the midpoint. So let us take midpoint m is equal to here we are going to divide beginning plus ending divided by 2. So that is whole divided by 2. Next we are going to check the condition here if element is equal to a of mid. If it is true then it has to return the position. So position is equal to mid. So mid that is m consisting of the position of the element and here we are going to use break statement and curly closing brace. Okay. Then we will write else as per the algorithm you can see else if and here we are going to write element if it is less than a of mid then it has to search for the element on the left hand segment okay so here we are going to write e is equal to m plus sorry m minus 1 then we are going to write else part beginning is equal to m plus 1 next curly closing brace for this while looping structure and here we are going to write if position is greater than or equal to 0 then C out it should display its position so I will write here position is equal to and the position stored in POS variable next else C out search is unsuccessful yes. next here we will write get ch then curly closing brace now let us compile this program so there is error so there is syntax error here we have to write it is 0 ok next click on compile and here you can say it is success no error next 
will go for executing here you can see how many elements it is asking so let us enter 5 and enter the elements so here all the elements should be in a ascending order only they should be in a proper order only we should not enter any numbers randomly so that is one of the disadvantages of using binary search so let us write sequential numbers such as 10 20 then 30 then 40 then 50 then search element so let us write 40 here you can see the position of the 40 is 3 because it is starting from 0 0 at position 0 10 is there at position 1 20 is there at position 2 30 is there at position uh, 3 40 is there correct so the position of 40 is equal to 3 